Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a dragonfly and for the materials and supplies I will be using supplies I used for my previous illustrations. So all of them are listed in the description box. If you want to check something out you can find it there. I'm starting with my sketch and I just drew the body of the dragonfly and then sketching in the head and eyes, quite quite large eyes and the body and you can see I did make those well somewhat uneven squares for the body and then moving on to my wing and since the paper is I guess too small for the size of the dragonfly I'm painting I'm not gonna place the entire one onto my paper so the wings won't be visible all the way but if you prefer that you can just draw it smaller and paint the entire dragonfly. When I was finished with my sketch I just used this ink pen. This is again from Pigma Micron 01 to draw in the sketch. And first starting with my basic sketch, this time also as previously, I'm not doing one clean straight line but I'm doing sketchy lines. That is how I prefer that. A few leggies for my dragonfly and when I did do the basic sketch I picked up a little bit smaller ink pen this is 005 to do the details to make some lines a little bit thicker do the shading in some parts of the body and I was just looking at my dragonfly his eyes well it looks like he has glasses <laughs> it was funny little a dragonfly later on I will just add a black on top of it it won't be visible but it was kind of funny so for the wings I also did add a little bit more of the details with this quite thin ink pen 005 and for the upper and lower wings also and then moved on to the watercolors and for the wings I'm using quite light wash and this is blue turquoise so very very light almost transparent wash I did add on top a little bit of the purple from the winter set and for the body I used a leaf orange maybe these are not very usual colors for dragonfly you can just use any colors you like if you don't want your butterfly to be uh, your dragonfly to be purple you can just use any color you like also added a little bit of that leaf orange to the wing and did splatters with blue turquoise and now I'm painting in the shadows with soft brown and just some parts of the body making it slightly darker and then using black for I guess the darkest parts the darkest shadows and then some splatters with yellow I did wanted to add a little bit of the yellow to add one more color some warmth so I did add a little bit of the yellow with black as I said I'm painting in the head and the eyes and also some parts of his body so that leaf orange is mostly covered by now and a little bit of the black also to the edges of my wings and just where the wings touch, touch the body I do want that part to be the darker so adding there a little bit of the black and also just going on top of the edges of my wings with black just to make some parts a little bit thicker to make it a little bit more visible distinct those wings one from the from the other and then with this white Posca pen, this is fine tip Posca pen, I'm adding some highlights and you can use also here white gouache if you don't have a Posca pen or a white gel pen and at the end I did want to add a little bit of the shine to the wings of my dragonfly so I'm using this yellow from the soft glow collection it has a tiny tiny bit shine to that yellow so I decided to add a little bit of the shine to the wings and only to 
the part where my wings overlap, I added a little bit more of the blue turquoise just to make it visible that overlapping. Some splatters with black and with that we are done. So one more illustration finished. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share it and comment. Let me know what you think. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. There are many, many, many tutorials there. So I'm definitely sure you'll find something for yourself. And also real-time videos for the Inktober are available for my channel members. So if you want to find out a little bit more about that, there is a link in the description box so you can find out the uh, details about the membership. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.